this week we've been looking at ways to start courageous conversations and these are what Brené Brown describes as rumble starters and I've been thinking about the four that are my favourite or the ones that I use most often and the first one is about the story that I'm telling myself so when I am making up a story about and it, of course it's usually negative and it's usually a bit paranoid that somebody doesn't like me anymore or they think that I've done something wrong or they're upset with me in some way. I know that I can keep telling myself that story and start to withdraw from conversations or even a relationship because I'm making up a story. And brave is having the conversation to say, in, in this situation, this is the story that I'm telling myself. Is this right? And be brave enough to have that, that conversation. So that's one that I find really, really powerful. Another one is one that Nancy Klein introduced us to from her work in Time to Think. And this is really powerful in meetings. Uh, it's about what are we assuming here? And what are we might be assuming about ourselves? Or what might we be assuming about a customer? Or what might we be assuming about a situation? But really getting underneath what might be going on at a deeper level. And that's incredibly powerful. And then one of the ones that is really uh, useful, particularly if it feels like conversations are going round and round, is coming back to what's the problem that we're trying to solve and taking a problem solving approach and getting to the nub of what is it we're trying to fix or sort out or explore here. And then the opposite of that almost is the final one. Now Brenner uses the phrase paint done. I think I more usually say what does success look like so that we've got really clear expectations that if we're doing this experiment or if we're doing this task that we've got a shared understanding about what good looks like, what success looks like or paint done. And actually I recognise Michelle and some of my other colleagues using the term paint done uh, in our work together. Michelle will sometimes say Helen in that situation paint done for me. So these are our ways that I'm trying to be braver and show up more with my colleagues and in my team and with my family and friends and start conversations that are a bit more courageous than what I would have done in the past.